Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's uh, lesson for Grade 5, Chapter 2, Lesson 7, the Distributive Property, page number is 119. Okay. Uh, boys, in Distributive Property, what we are doing, actually, when we have two numbers to multiply, like this, in the first example, uh, they're talking about a field trip 42 students each paid three dollars for transportation so use mental math and the distributive property to find how much money was collected together so basically you have to multiply 42 with 3 so it's hard to multiply directly with 42 by 3 so we use distributive property how we use distributive property we break the big number how see this boys can I write this 42 as 40 plus 2? It's the same thing. 40 plus 2, 42. Okay. Now I multiply 3 with both numbers. First I multiply 3 with 40. Then I multiply 3 with 2. Here, they're doing it. They break 42 into 40 and 2. So first they multiply 3 with 40. Then 3 with 2. Now, it's easy to multiply with the numbers having zeros. 3 times 4, 12, and there is one zero, so put one zero. And 3 times 2, easy, 6. Now, you add your answers. 120 plus 6, 126. So, what we do, guys, we break our numbers into two parts, the big one, and multiply it like here 42 we break it into 40 and 2 and then we multiply and then add our answers okay so we multiply 3 with 40 3 with 40 120 then we multiply 3 by 2 3 by 2 equals 6 120 plus 6 126 similarly on next page here see this boys 7 times 26. So we break this 26 into 20 and 6. So first we multiply 7 by 20. 7 times 2, 14. And this one 0 here. And the second we multiply 7 by 6. 7 times 6, which is 42. Now you just add them. 140 plus 42, 182. Similarly, here in guided practice, 5 times 18. We break 18 into two parts, 10 and 8. So first we multiply 5 with 10, 5 with 10, and then 5 with 8, 5 with 8. 5 times 10, 50, 5 times 8, 40, 50 plus 40, 90. Okay. Again here, 2 times 21. So we break 21 into 20 plus 1. 2 times 20, 2 times 20, then 2 times 1, 2 times 1. 2 times 20 equals 40 and 2 times 1 equals 2. 40 plus 2, 42. If you directly start multiplying 2 by 21, maybe you get confused or maybe you think a lot, right? So when you break them, so it becomes easier. So that's why we use distributive property to multiply easily and mentally. Okay. Uh, next page here, guys. Independent practice. So you have to solve all these questions by yourself. I will show you two questions here, first one and last one. And remaining all you have to solve by yourself and then you can match your answers through this video. See the first one, 6 times 13. So you break 13 into two parts, 10 plus 3. Then you multiply 6 by 10 and 6 by 3 in between plus. 6 by 10, 60 and 6 by 3, 18. 60 plus 18, 78 boys uh, solve question the next all the next questions by yourself and then you can match your answers through this video here are the answers you can pause the video and then you can match your answers okay. see this last one now 55 times 4 so we can write it 4 times 55, it doesn't matter, we can switch uh, the numbers in between, okay, in multiplication, it doesn't matter. So we will break 55 into two numbers, 50 plus 5. So first, 
4 times 50, then 4 times 5. Here it is, 4 times 50 plus 4 times 5. Okay. The numbers which have zeros, easy to multiply, just 4 times 5, 20, and this 1, 0. And 4 times 5, 20. So total is 220. Uh, next page, guys. See this one. Again, you have to multiply 17 by 4. So simple, you can use the distributive property 4 times 17. You can write it as 4 times 10 plus 7. Okay, then you will multiply first 4 with 10. 4 times 10 in between you put plus sign then you'll multiply 4 with 7 4 times 7 4 times 10 is 40 4 times 7 28 and total is 68 similarly here 5 times 36 so you break it into 30 and 6 5 times 30 that is 150 and 5 times 6 is 30, so 150 plus 30 equals 180. Yeah, next one now. 23 times 9, so 2, 20 and 3. 20 times 9, 180, and 3 times 9, 27, so 180 plus 27, 207. Okay. Uh, Dylan is using the distributive property. There's a mistake guys. I wrote it here, but you have to explain me in the comment box. First, she had to multiply 6 times 9. She did it here, but she just tried 4 here. How? First, she had to multiply 6 times 4, which will give you 24, not 4. And then you have to add. So what is the answer here? Uh, you have to tell me in the comment box, okay? There is some explanation and the answer is also here in these three lines, okay? How can the distributive property be used to multiply numbers? I can use the distributive property to multiply numbers by breaking apart one factor, like we break apart one factor, okay? Uh, into the sum of two numbers like here we break it in a sum of two numbers I hope you understand the lesson guys and if you understand don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel learn math with mr. Saad and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video thank you so much guys have a nice day